Hello again, this week's video is about the stresses of the driving test. So, the stresses of the driving test. I tell you, to lots of people at the moment, it, it, it is actually harder to take your test in the next uh, month or so, or the last month, because with the lockdown being on, and it's released the lockdown, people are taking lessons again and taking the tests again. There's that pressure of, um, I've got my test booked, it's four weeks away, but I do know that I keep hearing stories that if you don't pass, it's going to be two months before you take the next test or three months. So there's that pressure of, oh God, if I don't pass, it could be three months away before I take my next test, if I'm really lucky. I mean, I'll put a link below for a cancellation service, which might help you. But uh, there's always that doubt at the back of your mind, oh, if I don't pass, I'm going to wait three months for my next test. And I've been learning now for the last year, so it's like nearly a year and a half for a, ticket for a pass. So it adds more pressure on you. So what can you do? Well, you can certainly prepare for the nerves, you know, the, the, there's the stuff you can do. You, you can prepare for, for the way the test works, because if you're not used to how our test format works from start to finish, then you, it's going to catch you out, because there'll be lots of little things that they do. And I'll put a link below to a, a mock test of uh, what sort of things does, does happen. But um, 40 minutes, it's crammed in lots of things. They, they're going to do a manoeuvre on you. So your manoeuvres, you've got four manoeuvres to learn, which are parallel parking, um, park on the right, reverse bay parking, forward bay parking. You've got 20 minutes of independent driving. You've got driving on different types of roads, fast roads, slow roads, country roads, high streets, dual carriageways, all them sort of roads and junctions and mini roundabouts chucked in there at the same time and meeting situations and they're all crammed into 20 minutes and sorry 40 minutes <laughs> for 20 minutes would be good wouldn't it 40 minutes they're all crammed into so you've got to get used to that 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 cramming so take a mock test you know with your instructor or your family member and if they're not doing it get all the instructors to take you for one because it'll, it'll surprise you because they're going to ask you to pull over five or six times if you're not used to being asked to pull over, you would be thinking, what have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? And all of a sudden you feel more, more nervous. But if you realise that they're pulling you over to check that you're checking your mirrors and you're signalling if need be, and when you're pulling off to check that you're looking round, doing your five point check and you're signalling if need be, they're checking these things because you're paying them to assess you. And think like that. Think, think differently. So when you're actually um, saying, to someone, saying to yourself, when I'm taking my driving test, I've paid them £62, a lot of money in the UK, £62 to take my driving test, and they're assessing me. So that's what they've got to do. They've got to check you on different types of road conditions, on a manoeuvre, and checking that you can pull over safely, you can pull off safely, you can handle junctions open and closed, you can do meeting situations, and they're assessing you. And don't be surprised if they do this. They're looking at you. That's quite putting off. If you're not used to that... <sighs> Ooh, it's scary, isn't it? I mean, when I do mock tests, and one of the things they say to me, my students, is it's actually quite hard, it's quiet. I'm not used to being quiet, and, and I know you're looking at what my feet are doing and what my eyes are doing, and it puts them off. But if you're not used to that, and all of a sudden, the exam says, right, start the car, are you ready? And you start the car, and you know they're watching you. It's off-putting. It's really off-putting for you. So you've got to say to yourself, I need to get used to that situation. Because if I don't, I'm going to fail. <laughs> so, so get used to the format of the driving test. Get used to what sort of things the examiner's going to do. To, like, he's going to check that you're, you're, um, you're, you're driving, you're doing the right things with your mirrors and signals. So in the first few minutes, that examiner doesn't know you. All right? It doesn't know you from Adam or Eve. So when you first set off, like I say, they're going to be, if I'm the, um, the examiner, I'll be like this. Okay. They're watching you, and when they've got their their um, I know this isn't an iPad. When they've got an iPad, they're, they're tapping away in the first minute. They're not saying you've done something wrong. They're just ticking boxes for you to say that they've they've actually checked and and you've done your um, your your eyesight test and and you've agreed to a debrief things like that. So don't start worrying to start tapping in the first minute on their iPad. That's normal. But if you don't know that, it will scare you and put you under the kind of pressure straight away. <gasps> what have I done wrong? And before you know it. Your hands are shaking. And I've had people, and, and, and I, I remember uh, talking to one of my students about five, six years ago who failed the test, unfortunately. And I said, what happened? She came back and she got serious for years. She said to me, she said, well, when the exam says start the engine, 
my left hand just went numb. And I couldn't, I couldn't push the gear stick. I said, how do you get around the test? Because, well, difficult, as you can see, I've got to see the gears. And my arm was like numb. And when, it, when we turned off at the end, it just went. So nerves does play fully, funny things with your body. You know, whether your legs shake, whether you just get palpitations, and you've got to get used to that stress. And, and I'll keep going on about it. I mean, there's things out there that can help you. You know, we've got tapping technique. Um, I put a link below to, to a video, which you tap in your pressure points on your body, which help you to bring down the stress levels. And there's um, the herbal remedies. I think it's calms. I'll put a link below to that if you want that as well. But uh, it's not for everyone, and you need to test these things in advance. Don't do them on the day of the test if you've never tried it, because it just might make you go completely different. So um, try these things. Speak to your instructor. If you're one of these people who do suffer from nerves, don't wait till the, the driving test day or a couple of days before, because it's going to be different, isn't it? So if, if you think that you suffer from exam stresses and anxieties and... You know in the past when you're taking your GCSEs or A-levels or O-levels that you really suffered, then you really want to tell your instructor that you suffer from stress and anxiety when it comes to, to exams so they can help prepare you for it. They can help, like I say, with the, with the actual uh, mock test, getting, getting used to the scenarios of what happens with the, with the examiners. And you also need to, to remember that um, if I was you, I would be saying to yourself, let's drive the test centre, get used to the roles that are there, get used to the roles outside the test center. Not inside the test center, you're not allowed to go inside at the moment. And get used to wearing a mask at the moment, because that's a bit weird, you know. So, um, I say to lots of people, get used to the role outside the test center, get used to coming into that role and coming out, get used to within a mile of the test center, because there could be lots of little tricky things, like little roundabouts or tricky, big roundabouts or tricky junctions or really busy parked car roads on like that. So, little things like that will help you to get used to it because when you recognize things like that you know what's coming i mean you still got to drive but if you know what the road is like ahead of you you know at the end of that road's got a really bad junction i'm going to stop and pop in first again and look or at the end of that road's got a stop sign so i've got to stop and look and properly and have a good look then you know you can prepare for it and knowing the road's going to help you to count kind of calm yourself down because once you get driving and you and you've relaxed into it you're fine it's just if you set off badly and I'll give you the example of my driving test. And this is going to shock people and say this. When I took my driving test, yeah, um, they're going to ask you for an eyesight test at the beginning. And I read my first one wrong. And the exam says, oh, it's a bit dirty. Let's read another one. And I thought, oh, very wrong completely. <gasps> Straight away, <sighs> nerves are jangling. And then I read, read the next one and got halfway across and I thought, and started again and read, and read it correctly that time. So I was fine. But <laughs> that little bit I'd done wrong then all of a sudden affected me for the next two, three minutes because my nerves were, were shot at that point. Because I thought, God, I blew it. Got in the car, started the engine. And as we drove off, I'm kangarooing it down the road. I never kangaroo down the road apart from the first few lessons. There's nerves. Me, me, my legs must have been shaking. I'm, I'm pressing the gas, off the gas, pressing the gas. <laughs> I read that examiner thought to me, what have we got here? We've got a right one. <laughs> And I, I kangarooed it right down the road, and it felt like like a, about about half an hour going to roll, but it's about twenty seconds. <laughs> kangarooed it down the road, bunny up, and whatever you want to call it. Got to the junction, stalled straight away. And then I thought, oh God, this is ridiculous, James. Like I, I've, I've failed my test. I'm driving like a complete novice here, and just switched off at a point. I just thought, just drive, just drive. Forget about the nerves. Restarted the car, popped it in first gear, looked round, and I was off. And I just drove in for the next. 38, 40 minutes, and I was fine, you know. And luckily for me, the examiner was nice in the first minute to me, and he said, "Well done, good drive." A bit nervous at the beginning, but after that, you settled down really nice. And this is what you got to keep saying: is that when you're taking your driving test, nerve does play a part, and the stress of knowing that you can't get a test straight away afterwards will put more pressure on you. And what you can do is try and prepare for it. And remember, there's thousands of people out there who don't pass. But try and give it your best shot. Give it to the point where you say, I can go in there, I know I'm going to pass, I know I've done the best I can, and no matter how I feel, I'm going to give it my best shot, and I'm not going to let nerves affect me. I'm going to keep me eyeing things. Okay? Good luck. I hope this helps you. I hope it reassures you that you're not on your own. 
and uh, like I say, prepare for things the best you can. Good luck and um, hope you pass.